Hello, everyone. Hey. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Frank, Andy's older brother. Just because I'm shorter doesn't mean that I'm younger. <laughs> I want to start by thanking Mr. and Mrs. Battaglia, my mom and Tom, my dad for making this day happen. I'd also like to thank everyone who made it here today, except for all my haters out there. <laughs> you know who you are. I've never been great at giving speeches. I tend to get a little nervous, so I'd also like to send a special thank you to Grammy for the Xanax she gave me earlier. <laughs> Way to look out, Grammy. It's starting to kick in. You know, weddings are amazing. It's when two people come together and proclaim that out of millions of people out there, this is the best man in the world. I want to say thank you. <laughs> and you guys are right. You see, for a long time, I always thought I was better than everyone else. <laughs> and now it's official. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here to celebrate this glorious day with Andy and Nicole. I can't believe they've been together for 10 or 11 years or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> it still amazes me that anyone would choose to tolerate Andy for that long. I think Nikki deserves the Jimmy V Award for Perseverance. <laughs> During those 10 or 11 years, I've been their third wheel thousands of times, and they're my favorite couple in the world. I myself am still single by choice, Sometimes my own, but mostly the choice of the women that I've dated. <laughs> All right, buckle up. All right. Raising Andy, a child with severe attention deficit disorder, as a single brother certainly had his challenges but I did the best I could. And I think he turned out okay for the most part. It turned out Nikki's love was stronger than the Ritalin ever was. <laughs> Nicole has made Andy so much less annoying. He still can't manage to show up on any, for anything on time, but it's still an improvement. So growing up, Andy and I used to do everything together. We would hang out with our friends in the neighborhood and play sports, ride bikes, throw things at cars, light fireworks in people's driveways, shout at pedestrians as we pass by in the car, or steal pumpkins from houses and roll them down a hill into oncoming traffic. <laughs> you know, normal kid stuff. We were partners in crime, but many times I was the victim. Whether he was stealing my clothes, taking my ID so he could get into bars underage, or taking my car for joy rides when he was 15 and didn't have a driver's license, nothing was ever off limits, and rarely did I ever get my stuff back. So I only put $5 in your wedding card, and we'll call it even. As Andy's older brother, it used to be my job to look out for him and bail him out of jam so he wouldn't get into trouble. Now that burden's on Nicole. <laughs> After one of his birthdays, Andy was too hungover from a night of drinking to move, so he laid in the bathtub and turned the shower on and Nikki fed him Wendy's cheeseburgers. <laughs> I'm so happy Andy has Nikki to take care of him now because I don't have to see him naked anymore. Smooth transition here. Nicole, you look beautiful tonight. <laughs> Nikki's loyal, great at what she does, good looking, rockin' bod, smooth dresser, talented lyricist. <laughs> I know that today I'm supposed to welcome you to our family, Nikki, but the truth is you've been a part of our family for a long time now, and I'm so happy for you guys. 
Nicole, you're the best sister-in-law a guy could ask for, and Andy, you're the best brother a brother could ask for. <laughs> and with that, I'd like to propose a toast. <laughs> so if everyone could raise their glasses to Andy and Nicole, I love you guys. I'm so happy for you. Cheers. <laughs>